Hello people, and welcome back for another bloody good vaping. Well, the channel's been open for just over 48 hours now, and um, we've hit over the 2,000 subscriber mark. I think I'm like on 2,200, which is really fucking impressive, actually. I'm, I'm kind of shocked and overwhelmed at uh, all the people that have subscribed. Um, done a couple of reviews already, got one in the pipeline for over the weekend. And I thought I'd just kind of do this little weekly thing and talk about stuff that I'm not particularly going to do in reviews. You know, a lot, lot of juices that I'm going to get, things coming up, little weird things that I've been sent. And uh, just basically have a general chit chat about, you know, whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Um, so what have I got coming up? Um, I've got the Rocket review coming up, the Rocket, the Genesis Atomizer from Rocket Science Mods. Now, um, Rocket Science Mods have just announced that they're doing the Rocket Hybrid um, and it will be released on May the 30th, which is uh, pretty exciting stuff. If anybody knows anything about Rocket Science Mods, they've done the trio of Genesis Atomizers, uh, the Doodlebug, Doodlebug Special Edition and the Rocket. And they've just announced that they're going to be bringing out the Hybrid on May the 30th. I haven't seen any pictures or anything like that, so it's all a bit cloak and dagger, but really quite exciting. So yeah, got the Rocket uh, review coming up over the weekend. What else have I got coming in? I have a Chi Yu Megan um, on its way, which I've just paid for, um, which is a Hemo Special Edition. La -di -da. Um, but I'm really looking forward to that. I never actually had a Chi Yu. Um, I, I did have the clone uh, when it came out. You probably saw the review over on Safer Vapors, but I never actually had a genuine Chi Yu. And kind of, you know, always wanted one, but never actually got round to grab myself one. So when I saw the Chi Yu Megan come out, um, which I believe he's named after his daughter, which is a really nice thing. Um, I've jumped at it, you know, 26650 Chi Yu, how could you not? And uh, it looks really fucking nice actually. It comes with, um, it's basically stainless steel and brass accents, the top cap and the switch. The switch looks uh, really flush as well and nice. And it comes with two top caps, uh, one flat top cap at I think 30 mil and then one uh, recessed at 22 mil, probably to try and complement his nucleus dripper. What else have I got coming in? Oh yeah, the Red Rod. Now, I reviewed the Red Rod. Todd, kindly, this man here, this man here, kindly sent uh, us his Red Rods um, last year when we was on uh, the other channel. And um, we reviewed it, and I contacted the maker of the Red Rod, Alex Laszlo, and said, oh, you know, I'd like one of these, can I have one? And he'd just done his uh, full batch, 213 of his 18350 model. So he said, oh, I'll tell you what, Damien, I'll, I'll, thanks for the review, and I'll try and squeeze you on at the end, like 214. But I had an email um, the other day, and somebody had dropped out, I think number 100. So whoever that guy is, I've got your fucking mod coming, uh, which is really nice. So that's been sent, that's the Red Rod. Uh, I know that Alex Laszlo has just started the Red Rod Medium, the 18500, and those batches are going out, which looks really cool. So I might have to drop him another email. So, you know, if somebody else drops out, Damo might be on your back. Um, what else have I got coming in? Ah, this is quite interesting. Now, I've got a guy on my group, my Facebook group, called Make, and um, Make is aptly making something called a K-Box. Now, what the K-Box is, is pretty much... Now, I don't want to say clone, but it kind of is of the shield and it's made of it's made of a wood basically it has all these different types of woods um, and then he's also got different switches and all that and that's of the shield he's making a wooden version of the shield now um, you know Needleworks only kind of made I believe 20 of these shields I have reviewed one in the past and they are a stunning mod you know they're really nice made of made of aluminium um, but he's just a sort of guy in a shed and he only ever made a few. He made one for himself pretty much to match his K-Fun 3.1 ES and um, he kind of stopped making them. He only made 20 of them and there was a, a thread on UKV and he basically granted permission if somebody wanted to take the design that they were more than welcome to take the design because he was never going to be able to make them anymore. So makers basically 
took the design and he's making them out of wood um, at home, basically out of all these different woods. He's got like olive and cherry and, and all these different fantastic woods. And uh, he's basically making sh shields out of wood. I believe like, that the shield is one of his favorite box mods of all time. So sort of out of respect and as a tribute, he's making um, a load of them. And uh, he contacted me and uh, knows I'm a fan. And he said, I'd like to make one for, one for you and, and send it to you, you know. And I was like, oh yeah, that's amazing. I'd, I'd love one, you know. And he's even making my wife one. Which which is really nice. And the great little thing what Mike's doing as well, he's sort of making a birth certificate with them as well, so that when you get your K-Box, you get this little birth certificate with the date it was made and what wood it was made out of. And he put a nice little comment, he goes, you know, as, as daddy, he'd always like to know where his mods are and give them a birth certificate. So that's really sort of nice, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, what else? What juices am I vaping at the moment? Ah, this is quite cool. My mate Billy over at Vaping King, um, I don't know if you know, but I'm a big fan of the Spotty Dick and Custard. Um, I do love Mrs. Lord's Spotty Dick and Custard, um, or just Spotty Dick they are there. And uh, Billy has now brought out his own um, range of Spotty Dick and Custard. Um, and he's even started doing 100ml um, bottles over at Vaping King. And it's really nice. It's different to um, Mrs. Lord's one. It's a bit more custardy, I think. It's a bit more Spotty Dick with custard fucking all over it. And it's really nice actually, and uh, it's really cool that he started doing 100ml um, bottles. Um, I was a massive fan of his uh, sort of top seller, Monkey Jizz, um, but I kind of went off it. You know, I vaped it for months, it's all I vaped. Bloody Monkey Jizz, Monkey Jizz, Monkey Jizz. I had Monkey Jizz in fucking everything. Um, and then I started, and I tried custard creams over at Mrs. Lord's, and I really got sort of hooked on that and spotted dick. Um, and you know, Billy's started doing some other ranges now and he's all got new artwork and he's done a whole new website and bits and pieces like that and now he's even started doing a hundred mil bottles which is great for somebody like me who's always running out of the juice that, that I love the most um, what other juices have I got here oh yeah Fair City Vapes, the guys who brought us the Lime Sparkle um, Ed and Pat, really nice guys um, have got this black currant blush um, that they're uh, starting to send out now and this is a really nice juice. I mean, I love Lime Sparkle um, Especially in my Genesis atomizers. It always reminds reminds me of those lemonade sparkle lollies I don't know if you remember them lemonade sparkle lollies fucking unbelievable. They're about 20p when The ice cream van used to come round. They used to be like a ripe pig and buy fucking three of them Even though I could only sort of eat two. I don't know But they had the orange and the lemonade sparkles and the lime sparkle taste to me just like a fucking lemonade sparkle um, that's my palette anyway but yeah they've got this uh, black currant blush and uh, it's really nice it kind of reminds me of those what were those sweets called oh, frutellas you know them black currant frutellas they rem this reminds me of those black currant frutellas kind of like the shape of opal fruits do you remember that sort of candy um, that's really nice the black currant blush um, and Ed and Pat over at Fair City Vapes sent me some juice to try because apparently it's fucking disgusting. And that is this bacon ice from Decadent Vapors. And uh, bacon ice. Who fucking wants to vape bacon? Especially something called bacon ice. So I tell you what, I'm going to give this a little fucking blast now. I've got my Zenith Dripper here on my MCR. And I'm going to uh, I'm gonna fucking put some on here. And I'm going to try it. Bacon ice. I mean, I love bacon. But I don't know if I could ever vape it. I'm sure we'll find out now. If I throw up on camera, yeah, I, I must apologise in advance, but I've heard nothing but bad things about this. So let's give it a go. Oh. oh, God, that smells fucking horrible. Right. You ready? This is bacon ice, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Jesus Christ. It does it tastes like feet. No, that really does taste like well, I don't know what old socks taste like. <coughs> I've never ate old socks. But I can imagine that's what that tastes like. I can't taste <coughs> bacon. Oh, it just tastes like sweat. That's fucking horrible. Excuse me. Oh, got some dick in me mouth. 
Oh, see, it's place for messed up. All my mojo that has now. Oh, fucking hell. The bacon ice. Um, I can't really recommend it. Look at me, I'm going back for it. I'm going back for it to remind myself how fucking horrible it is. There's no point having it if I'm not going to give it a bloody good vaping. <coughs> oh, that's attractive. Yeah, so, um, bacon ice, thanks very much for sending that to me, Ed and Pat. Oh, now I know probably what you think of me. Um, so, uh, yeah. What else has been happening? Well, um, yeah, I mean, the, the channel is doing really well, actually. I've received a, a lot of emails and, and stuff like that. Ah, here we go. My MCR review that I've just done. Um, first of all, I'd like to make two apologies. How did I not know that MCR stood for fucking Manchester? And, and I'll tell you what, my wife was there when I did the review, and, and she's from fucking Sheffield, right? How did she not know that MCR... There's me going, my chemical romance, Mukara. I did not know, and I apologise to MCR mods for, you know, an, an intelligent man would have probably got that a lot sooner than me. So, uh, yeah, MCR stands for Manchester. Uh, you know. Uh, but I've spoken to uh, Liam over at MCR mods, and they're going to be at Vape Fest, so they're going to have MCR 101s. They're also going to be uh, having their new Genesis atomizer there, and um, they're also going to be having their new MCR SL, which is a 20 mil version of the MCR. So uh, you know, if you've got like a, you're fan of your 20 mil atties, if you've got a lot of air, Hellfires and all that, this will be perfect um, for it. So they're going to be at Vape Fest. Um, I believe they're also going to be sharing like a, a, a marquee with Mrs. Lord's Juice and Co. and stuff. Like that. Like that so I shall be uh, hanging out in that um, marquee quite a bit I'll be back and forth from there uh, between Eden mods and uh, the MCR mods because uh, the boys at Eden mods Lee and Andy all right lads they're gonna be there they're also gonna be um, selling off some of their Rose V2s they're doing the batches now for them um, so if you missed out on the Rose V2 on Vapist um, because you know there was only I think 150 on there you can uh, you can uh, get them at Vapefest. Yeah, Vapefest 2014. Swiftly approaching. Very exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to that. And now coming back again to the MCR, the other thing I need to apologise for is about the contacts. The contacts, I missed out one little thing. Uh, the contacts on the MCR are actually naval brass. Co uh, 24 karat gold over naval brass and then it has rhodium over the top for protection and I left out the fact that it was also coated in 24 karat gold so uh, plating so uh, yeah sorry about that just uh, you know just remember that as well so a little extra bonus and like I said they will be at vape fest um, and so if you want to get your hands on one of these stunning mods then uh, go and give those guys a shout um, my copper uh, MCR has started to patina really nice and dialing down and it looks lovely what else has been going on yeah I was contacted by uh, David Hallam as well over at the European free vaping initiative now it's one of these um, it's like a big um, group of people have got together and they're basically what they're trying to do is get a million signatures so that they can present their case to the um, to the commissioner representatives uh, uh, public speaking over at um, the European Parliament and they've got till November to get a million of these signatures together so um, what I'll do is I'll put the website on the in the description so go over there have a read um, at their mandate and their manifesto and all that and uh, if you can drop down your signature you know um, it's better than doing piss all isn't it and really read through what they're um, talking about and what their ideas are and what they plan to do with all these signatures and um, basically how to what they're going to do presenting their case you know um, I know there's been a lot of these sort of things that have fallen through along the way but I mean if it just takes a few minutes of your time you might as well it's better than doing fuck all and uh, go over there check out the website um, like I said it will be in the description and have a read through of uh, basically everything they're trying to propose and that and, and try and get involved a little bit if you can um, yeah so what else is going on ah yeah 
Gary at Carno Vapes is getting in uh, 28 mil foggers. Uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one of them. 28 mil foggers. I never, I never minded the Fogger V2 when that first came out back in the day. Sort of like the same time as a Typhoon GT. It borrowed some different bits um, from some different atomizers. Um, even though it was kind of at one point considered a clone because it had Fogger written in the same fucking font as uh, the Fogatti. Uh, but then they brought out ones without the... Uh, uh, the engraving on it, but yeah, the Fogger V2, I enjoyed that, and then the Fogger V4, that's getting a, a lot of good press as a sort of a, an affordable um, atomizer, and yeah, now they're going to do the Fogger Big, which is a 28mm monster, so he should be getting them in early next week, he's also getting in something that, uh, called the Armour Dripper as well, which is a 28mm dripper, fucking these monsters are coming out, aren't they, absolute monsters, um, and I should be getting my hands on, on one of them as well, and have a little look at one of them, so uh, check out uh, Colonel no vapes and see what little bits and pieces there are on there. I know he's also got some clone bits and stuff on there, so uh, you know, go and uh, give them a look. So yeah, I mean, uh, that's that's pretty it. Well, um, what else is going to go on? Yeah, I mean, if you're not a member of um, the Facebook group, um, check, click on the link at the top of the banner on the old page there, and uh, come and join our Facebook group. We do have a, a good fucking laugh on there. There's a lot of cool guys on there. We do talk a lot of shit and all, and have a good giggle. And we also have uh, some in there. I don't know, many of you vapors probably know all about this Google Hangouts, and I mean... I'm only just starting to get a bit down with the kids, you know what I mean, on this hangout thing, and it's pretty cool. I'm usually on there pissed out of my nut uh, on a Friday night with my wife, and uh, loads of guys come in and we just chat absolute bollocks. And there's me and usually a guy called, uh, a mate of mine called Paul Cox, Coxie, uh, on there till about six o'clock in the morning, just rabbiting absolute bollocks on this Google Hangout, you know, drinking and, and having a laugh and checking out what each one's vaping and asking what everyone's buying and, and stuff like that. So uh, if you're not a member of the Facebook group and um, you fancy uh, getting involved or coming on these hangouts and that, then uh, the Malters are usually on there on a Friday night. Absolutely fucking wasted. Um, and you can actually watch the progression of us getting wasted throughout the entire evening. We start out pretty compassmentous, but by the end of the night, I'm dribbling and shit, and you know what I mean, sitting in my own piss. So, you know, that's always good to uh, watch and look out for. So, uh, yeah, you know, come on, join the, join the old group, get involved, you know. You know, there's... I don't, it's, it's like one of them groups where people post all their fucking vape porn and discuss things and ask advice and all that, but we also have a good laugh and talk utter bollocks as well, which, you know, I do enjoy. I never take anything too fucking seriously in this life, I'd say. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I've got to talk about. Um, I'm going to have another blast on this bacon ice. I don't know why. It keeps calling me. It does taste fucking horrible, but now I've put it in the dripper, I can't stop. It's when you exhale out of your nose. It's fucking horrible. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, I'm, I'm going to hope to do one of these sort of weekly and just keep you updated in, in what I've got coming up in the um, on the channel and sort of what, what I've been up to and anything that crops up or uh, any information that I get that I'll share with you guys and just talk utter bollocks. You know, it's... Uh, so it is. So uh, yeah, thanks very much for for watching again, and uh, I'll see you over the weekend for another bloody good vaping. Safe.